Hello there, my Capricorn Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, hell, Capricorn, we were going to do something a little different. What's up with you? You got headspace. You were overflowing with creativity, creative energy, new ideas, and productivity. So let's throw some cards on that, and then we'll go back to the originally... Uh, Land reading for you, Capricorn. This is a really good energy with you, Cappy. So I love this. Stay focused on you. Keep them ideas coming. Ooh, I love this energy with you. Ace of uh, Cups at the bottom. Nine of Cups with the Four of Swords, the King of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Cups. Yeah, with the Hermit energy. Oh my goodness. A lot of choices. A lot of choices and options with you. But my oh my, I feel like you don't know what you want to do. What sort of uh, even like makes you happy or makes you feel something, right? There's the switch up with you. So you might not be interested in dating. You're more focused. There's judgment here. There's Knight of Cups. There's the Knight of Wands. There's that Chariot energy. I feel like you know there's something or someone better. But I don't feel like you're in a relationship or partnership. So if you're dating, no one's really sort of just enthused you. You know what I mean? There's nothing sort of... It's kind of like you're in a meh kind of energy. You know what I mean here? Some of you are far more for focused on this sort of work creative energy with you. So work could be uh, taking up your time. Uh, very good work energy with you. I love this with you. Some of you calling in better relationships or partnerships, but it's like you got to decide who. I definitely feel like you have healthy boundaries. So if you're not dating, you're not dating. If you are dating, you're probably very fucking picky. I like this with you. So you're either going on a lot of first dates or you're turning down dating opportunities. Some of you are more focused on this sort of uh, creative energy you got going. I think you're getting plenty of rest, plenty of sleep. Damn, I love that energy with you. Okay, Cappies. So we're going to do like a work, love, life energy here, Capricorn. So what we got, what's uh, work energy for Cappies? There's work. What's the love energy for Capricorn? We're going to find some down here at the bottom, Capricorn. And then what's the general sort of energy around Capricorn? I feel like it's that one. Okay, Cappies, what, what's going on with you? What's up? What's your vibe, Cappies? These two will go right there, Capricorn. It was all a dream, afterlife. Where are we going now? Transition, transformation, and rebirth. This is work energy. Damn Capricorns. Those of you, uh, send out them resumes. Whatever it is you're sort of working and focusing on. I feel like you have this beautiful switch up with you. Which really made all the difference. So, if someone was feeding you a lot of sort of bullshit when it comes to work opportunities, right? Promotions or such... You're sort of pulled focus back on you. Capricorn, some of you could have been in a position where your your heart just wasn't in it, right? Finding a good work-life balance. Uh, maybe you were working too much, right? The good opportunity wasn't as good as what you thought it was. Yeah, look at that. Some of you, this could have been a little bit of an emotional switch up for you, right? So it wasn't quite what you thought it was going to be. So now it's this sort of change up. Damn, it's this change up with you, Capricorn. What you got going on? Four swords with the ten of pentacles. Two of cups. Two of wands. There's the Gemini energy. There's the six of wands. What's the basis of this? Strength, the six of pentacles. The page of pentacles. And there's that ace of pentacles. My oh my.
Capricorn, why do I feel like if you were in a relationship or partnership and it actually dealt with your work? Now, this could be a working relationship. If this was like a romantic relationship sort of dealing with work, I think something got a little too overwhelming. I think you prefer that sort of separation energy. You know what I mean? So you're switching it up. You're, you're switching something up. If you're single, this is sort of thinking about how that's all going to work. So if you, Capricorn, some of you could have been working just way too hard. So if you were in a relationship or partnership, right, you weren't able to give it the time and energy that it needed. I feel like you're single, though. This feels like a single energy trying to decide that sort of work-life balance. Something wasn't quite what you thought it was. The money might have been good, but you probably were too fucking busy to even enjoy it. So you're looking at things differently. This Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. Damn. I think someone could have sold you on an idea or a job or an opportunity and you thought it was going to be something else. And once you got into it, you realized it really wasn't. Uh, some of you, this could have been with a partner or someone that you were like really close with. And you're kind of choosing to go off and do your own thing. Something wasn't what you thought it would be. For some of you, it might have been just too much of an emotional toll on you. Uh, you could be more focused on a good work-life uh, relationship here or partnerships, right? Someone promised you something. The energy here is someone promised you something and the opportunity just wasn't that good. It definitely feels around work, right? So, you know, if someone tells you, oh, no, you ought to do this, it's a great opportunity, but it really wasn't. Uh, or might not have been what the hell you were expecting. Might be too much work. There's an emotional sort of energy to it, too. So, love energy here with you. Life laundry mat. Choose your own destiny. Choices, destiny, consequences energy. So, I definitely feel like you have offers and opportunities, Capricorn, right? So, if you're dating, you're dating. If you're not, you're not. I feel like a lot of you are choosing to choose you. There's almost a detachment energy with you, uh... Capricorns because you sort of need that detachment. I feel like you're it's like the life laundry mat here. You're separating, you're compartmentalizing work and life energy. Ooh, you definitely making some healthy choices. Look at that. You got Scorpio there and Aquarius energy. My oh my. My oh my Capricorn. Why does it feel like you get a lot of sort of promises, but nothing ever really seems to go the way you think it is? You know what I mean? So whatever the sort of energy is, you always sort of feel, I don't know, you almost feel like a little dirty, like something just isn't right. It just doesn't feel right. You know what I mean? So I think you're learning to separate, compartmentalize different areas of your life. This is Hierophant. This is like boss-up energy with you. So what's this love life energy for Capricorn? Nine of Cups with the Seven of Wands. Some of you could choose to just be single for a while. Crown on that, you got the Five of Cups. Below that, you got the Five of Swords. There, you got that Piscean energy. And there's that, my oh my, Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. The fact that you're Nine of Cups, Seven of Wands here, right? Like Life Laundry Mat. So some of you, right? Uh, you're just domesticating yourself. You're just having fun. You're just focusing on you. Uh, if you're not dating, you're not dating. But all this sort of... You notice that blue energy around this? So I think you're missed, Capricorn. But what the fuck are you missing, the Seven of Swords is like, be street smart and wise. This Piscean energy, don't let yourself sort of get overflowed with emotions, right? The Five of Cups up there, the Five of Swords down here. It's like, uh, you just can't 
go do your own thing and be fucking happy. So, what did you switch up? The basis of this energy, the hangman energy. Yeah, you changed something. So, this is a choice that you made. There's the Empress energy. There's that King of Cups energy. There's that Nine of Pentacles. Damn. Capricorn, some of you step back to sort of figure out what the hell you sort of want and need moving forward. So if you're single, it's because you're trying to figure out what the hell it is all about. If you're dating, you could have... Capricorns, I feel like if you're dating, someone could just be a little too emotionally draining. You know what I mean? That could be what sort of turns you off on something. Um... If you're dating, it's probably a lot of first dates, maybe second dates. I don't feel like you're really interested in taking anything or getting anything that's too uh, complicated way too early. I don't know if you like this sort of water sign energy, but some of you, I don't feel like it's... Um, if you want a date, you want a date. So you want to take your time with something. Especially if you're over here thinking about, you know, establishing a nice sort of uh, life. Some of you could just be learning to enjoy being single and dating. But maybe you attract everybody that's wanting, like, more. It's a fertile energy, so be mindful of that. That could be what sort of got you more focused on you, uh, Capricorn, right? I definitely feel like you have choices and options, but all this sort of teal energy is just, it's just way too fucking much. Especially if that's not what you're focused on. I feel like you're more focused on yourself. So Capricorn, some of you could just be stingy and be like, you know what? Nah, I'm not interested in, uh, some of you, this could be like cohabiting with somebody. Somebody just wants to move way too fast in this sort of cups energy. So, it's way too... Someone says I love you way too early in the relationship. It's sort of that type of energy. And then next thing you know, right? So, if you're wanting to date, you're wanting to date. You're not wanting the first, second, third, fourth person to sort of be in that energy. I definitely don't think that it's not that that's not what you're interested in. But you're definitely having more of a work sort of love-life separation. Some of you just want to fucking be happily single for a while. Especially if you just got single. Capricorn, for some of you, that could be the energy here. So, you know, you're not really doing anything because it's like the shark circling or the vulture circling. I don't know. Someone here is just way too up in their emotions. Someone is probably wondering why you're not dating. Why are you not dating? <clears throat> Take what yours, Capricorn, and leave what the fuck is not. You got the Hierophant here. You got the Four of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Five of Pentacles. And there's this Temperance Angel. I think someone wants more from you than what you're actually looking for. I don't feel like this is a negative energy, per se, Capricorn with you, but you're on one mindset, and you're not even focused on a relationship. And someone else is over here looking at this sort of big opportunity. You know what I mean, Cappies? This is like you. You're investing. You're working on yourself. This is like you're learning, you're growing. Especially if you're not really interested in dating. Or some of you just enjoying dating. Just for fun's sake, right? Just to have some fun. Switch it up a little bit. Someone's definitely in five energy around you. So, just be mindful of the relationships and partnerships you call in. Capricorn, if some of you are just newly single... You're kind of enjoying that. If someone thought you were going to go out and start dating, that's really not it. You're just over here happily focused on yourself. Damn, Capricorn. Take what's yours and leave what the fuck isn't, Capricorn. 
The Knight of Swords here to the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Wands to the Page of Swords, to the Fool card, to the Page of Cups, to the Ten of Cups. Yeah. Damn, Capricorn. Some of it could just be way too much time, energy, and effort uh, that you're not even interested in. Damn Capricorn. Over top of that is that Queen of Swords. Hey, yeah, this almost is. So if you're newly single, right, you could have some sort of uh, energy around wondering why you're not dating. Definitely be street smart and wise here. But I don't think you need that because that's not even what your focus is. Some of you are really liking the domesticated life. So you don't mind that. Capricorn, I definitely think some of you are looking for uh, long-term relationships or partnerships, right? Just not right now. Just not right now. So you could be working to save up and some of you could be figuring out what the fuck that even means for you. I feel like you're more focused on yourself. Uh, some of you could be getting degrees or upgrading your work. Oh, whatever this is, you're like you're like more hands-on energy here. So relationships with you require someone who is actually sort of a hands-on, not in a sexual way, but in like a life way, right? You want like a, a partner that you can actually work and grow with. But it looks like you tend to attract the ones that are just really emotionally too much. You don't like that. I don't feel like you like the wet feet energy. Damn, Capra. Take what's yours and leave what the fuck isn't. Because I don't think you really give a fuck. Some of you really like this sort of domesticity. You kind of like doing all that. It's a fun energy with you. Some of you are learning to do new things. Some of you could be having to go to the fucking laundromat, right? And you actually like it. Basic life energy around you. Campfire circle. Create deep and magical connections. Relationships, bonding, and community. I feel like that's really more your focus. Taking your time with something. If you're dating, you're going to take your time. You're going to have a lot of first dates. I feel like you're going to have some fun dates, too. You're really going to... You're really going to take your time with something. Because you're looking at things completely different. So Capricorn, if you were always single, maybe you're kind of thinking about relationships or partnerships. Capricorn, if you come from a relationship or partnership, you're looking at that differently. Take what's yours and leave what isn't, Cappies, right? I think you kind of know what you want, how you want that sort of life to be. So uh, that's the sort of vibe that you're on. If you've been there, done that, bought the t-shirt, maybe you're ready for like a new type of experience. But it's going to require you to change it. Change something about yourself. Kind of like your outlook. What's more important to you? You have offers and opportunities. So Capricorn, you know that. But what's right for you? You probably have people wanting to set you up on a lot of uh, dates. But you're not even interested in that. My oh my, Capricorn. Basis of this is the Nine of Wands. Healthy healthy foundations, healthy sort of boundaries in place. There's that King of Wands. There's that Two of Swords. And there's that Three of Cups. My oh my. <laughs> damn oh damn, Capricorn. You definitely have offers and opportunities, but what's more important to you? This Two of Cups... If you are interested in relationships, you're looking at them differently. You're looking at them differently. You might be, I don't want to say overanalyzing, but you're definitely looking at things from a different sort of perspective. That's what makes all the difference. It's like this equal reciprocity. You want someone that's going to share in the chores. You want someone that's actually going to be 
a, a tangible partner. So you could have had uh, someone that was just way too emotional, right? Something that was a little too lovey-dovey, but a person couldn't do a fucking thing, right? You need a partner that's going to be, it's like equal shared responsibilities here. If this isn't romance with you, this could be like just working relationships, partnerships, friendships. I think that overly emotional energy has just, you don't like the wet feet. Bottom here, of course, you got Pisces and there's the hangman energy. There's that four of pentacles. There's the high priestess. There's the king of swords. And there's that three of swords energy. It feels like the more focus you put on yourself, this sort of energy around you doesn't like it. If this ain't romance with you, this could just be friends, family, loved ones, right? So Capricorn, if you were always in a relationship, you were always in a partnership, and you never sort of had time to do your own thing, that kind of... Some people don't like that. That definitely fucked up, Capricorn. Basis of this, this Magician energy, the Nine of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and there's that Seven of Cups. My, oh my. You're very mindful of the emotional manipulation. You're very mindful of that emotional manipulation. So Capricorn, some of you dealt with a crier. Someone that was just, uh So you had a relationship that it was all, you didn't know what the fuck. You didn't know what the fuck. There might have been a lot of love there, but there wasn't a lot of sort of tangible energy. So the relationship, could it almost felt like you needed uh, someone to throw you a life buoy, right? To keep you afloat because the emotions were there, but there wasn't anything tangible. With the Seven of Cups, it could have been a lot of just emotional manipulation. You like this grounded energy. You like someone that will actually share responsibilities, someone who will actually work, someone who will actually, you know, it's like an equal sort of give and take energy. Damn Capricorn. Now this with the life energy around you, this could be people around you. Just a, too much emotional manipulation. Feels like someone don't like the fact that you pull focus on yourself or you're looking at relationships differently. The Empress, the Chariot, the Two of Pentacles, and there's that Wheel of Fortune energy. Someone depends upon you way too fucking much. There's like an emotional tire connection that's just, it's way too, it, there's too much there. There's too much there. You're this good sort of ideals energy. I feel like there's a good yin-yang energy with you too, Capricorn. So, you actually enjoy the energy that you're in. But some of them don't like the fact that you do. So, there could be like, this could be like some old school energy, right? Like someone thinking that you have to be in a relationship or partnership. Why are you doing that? That's not what you should be doing, right? So, this could be sort of what you sort of grew up in, the energy you grew up in. My, oh, my Capricorn. Six of Swords, Ten of Wands to the Sun card. I think you're tired of that sort of, whatever the hell that emotional manipulation was. Some of you could just be tired of this sort of idea of uh, having to be in a relationship or partnership. Especially Capricorn, if you're learning to sort of do your own laundry and cook your own food and be on your own, you're kind of enjoying that. Someone didn't want you to. That's what's fucked up. <laughs> That's what's fucked up with this energy. Capricorn likes doing laundry. Capricorn likes uh, doing dishes. Capricorn cooks. Capricorn goes grocery shopping. What? I do feel like there's too much emotional manipulation on this. So regardless of your gender, right? Someone's like, why are you doing that? You probably have people setting you up on dates. Uh, so this could just be the vibe around you. Right now, Capricorn, right? Everyone thinks that you should be in a relationship or partnership. You could be. 
If that's what you want, you'd be in one. Some of you are just looking at it differently. Some of you, it's it's what you expect from a relationship. It's what you expect from your partner. Work, love, life energy on this Capricorn. It's like you need that sort of equal balance. You need that shared responsibility. Capricorn, some of you might want a partner who loves himself enough to make healthy choices, right? Capricorn, this could be what you're learning to do. There's way too much, though. There's way too much for this. When you're, you're like feeling good, looking good, good opportunities with you. There's that energy of just being domesticated. So you're learning to do things on your own. Yeah, you're actually enjoying this. You're liking this energy. It's a switch up for you. Capricorn, someone could not like the fact that you're just out there dating and having fun. So someone has some ideas as to what you should be doing, but that's a sort of emotional manipulation energy here, right? You're out there just learning new... It's like this uh, journey of discovery with you that's absolutely fucking beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Take what towards Capricorn, leave what the fuck is it? If you wanted to be in a relationship, you'd be in a relationship. That's not what you're interested in. You definitely have offers and opportunities, but you're turning them down. You're just taking your time. You're taking your time. If It's not that you're not dating. It's just not the right time. It's not the right vibe for you. This is good positive energy with you. So if you started a new job or you're working hard, right? That's what you're focused on. So you're focused on work right now. You'll date when you feel the urge to date. But you're just sort of zen as fuck. I love this energy with you. I love this energy with you. You got a lot of love. That's the thing here. It's not that you don't, but I feel like you're just loving yourself and giving to yourself and making smart choices. Somebody drained you emotionally. That's for damn sure. And now that you're getting that sort of energy back, you're kind of liking this vibe. Equal reciprocity with you. Equal reciprocity with you. Some of you are going to stay the fuck away from water sign energy. Someone who is just way too emotionally... Uh, it's like a codependency. So this doesn't even have to be your romantic relationships, Capricorn. Some of you, just the life energy around you, right? Damn, oh damn. Look at you go, Cappies. Take what's yours and leave what the fuck is not, Capricorn. Damn, I love this. Keep doing you. When you're ready to date, you'll date. This is good tangible energy coming in for you. So good creative vibes with you. There you are, zen as fuck in that King of Cups energy. Damn. Take what's yours, Capricorn. Leave what the fuck is it. Good luck. God bless. Like, share, subscribe. Ring the bell, Capricorn. Ooh. I love this for you. Waiting to date and focusing on the tangible. Good luck. God bless.